I can eat all that. That's for you. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Very cool. Ah, thank you guys. Thanks for being here. Um, well, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a huge baseball fan, and, and you know, all, grew up a huge baseball fan, and um, you know, to uh, you know, it's one thing to. I mean, I, I have a love of music, obviously, but also a love for for the game of baseball, and to kind of combine those two, and and be able to play my music and, and also play it, not only in just any stadium, but just. Uh, you know, a historic stadium like this that has so much history and, and just, I mean, to me, it's just, uh, it's unbelievable. Uh, you know, obviously playing baseball stadiums and, and playing, you know, certain parks like this and Fenway and, uh, you know, different places like that are, are things that when my career is over, I can look back on and go, you know what, that was pretty cool. Not a lot of people get to do that, and, and I did. And, and um, you know, I think I think you do kind of reach a point where you start thinking about things like that a little differently. <laughs> You know, I, th I think you just have to realize that, that people are, um, you know, that you're under the microscope a little bit more, and you know, and that doesn't that doesn't change anything. I mean, whether you're doing something, you know, if you're doing something you shouldn't be doing, I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, there, there's nothing you can really do to change that other than just don't do it. You know what I mean? But um, you know, I, I think for me the main thing is just. Um, you know, it, it was kind of a learning experience for me that, that made me realize that, uh, you know, I don't know, that, that maybe I was under the microscope a little bit more than I thought I was. Um, you know, but it's, uh, you live and learn, man.